Hello YouTube, it's Rockcrin coming to you tonight with, uh, I guess this is my take on the whole Brie Larson situation. I know, I don't really have a hot take on this one. I think she's just a crazy bitch, the, you know, that no one's going to like. I mean, I'm sure the soy boys and the left boys and all those stupid boys are going to say like, you're an idiot for not liking her. And, you know, I think she was cool and like scott pilgrim versus the world i don't really remember her in that but i know she was in it and i think she was forgettable in kong skull island it's just i don't know her behavior most recently is just like she's off her meds or something i don't know if she takes meds but if she doesn't i don't know but yeah she <laughs> she's just you know the most smug self-centered I don't know, she's, it's definitely Hollywood culture, but her co-stars always seem to be more down to earth. She's just up on her high horse. It's, uh, yeah, it is what it is, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, she's had a pretty privileged life, she moved to California when she was just a kid, and been in movies and TV and commercials and made a pop song and maybe a whole album I don't know but I mean she's you know she's done it all and she acts like such a fucking stuck up bitch I don't get it she should be you know like they always say you know be cool to the fans but yeah I mean there's probably a subset of fans she's very cool with I don't know but yeah that's just my two cents on that uh, I didn't see Captain Marvel, and I don't intend to. And I'm not going to see Endgame either, because, well... According to her, she's going to punch Thanos into the sun. Which, whatever. The only thing I look forward to in Brie Larson's future, if the MCU does fold in the X-Men... And, you know, the Fantastic Four and, you know, they start folding those characters in. Uh, I want Rogue to, like, take her out. Just like she did in the comic a long time ago. Take her out completely. Leave her next to dead. <laughs> and we don't have to deal with her anymore. Or at least for a while. You know. <laughs> I think that sounds like fun. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, what else is happening in pop culture this week? Uh, oh, there's that new Hobbs and Shaw trailer. That looks like a bunch of fun. Uh, you got, like, <laughs> Jason Statham and The Rock fighting people together and fighting each other. Could be a lot of fun. I don't know. It doesn't come out till August. It's a pretty good push for it now. Uh, the Dark Phoenix trailer dropped this week. I think that looks pretty good, but I've enjoyed all the X-Men movies, too, you know, for the most part. Uh, you know, X-Men Origins Wolverine is just a steaming pile of shit, and X3 The Last Stand wasn't all that good either. So, there's a couple of them that I don't like. But uh, I thought the Wolverine was cool. Logan, of course, was super cool. Deadpool 1 and 2 were fun. Uh, like, X-Men 1 and 2, like X1, X-Men and X2, those movies are classics. They're about my favorites. And then, they, you know, they rebooted with... First Class, I thought that movie was great. Days of Future Past, another great one. Apocalypse, I thought was awesome. I don't know, yeah, I gotta see this one, and I'm still curious if they're still doing that New Mutants movie. I mean, it's in the can. I don't know if they're ever gonna put it out, though. Maybe for Halloween or something, because it is a horror movie. That'd be cool. I wouldn't mind seeing it around Halloween. Uh, let's see, what else came out this week? Uh, there's gotta be something. <laughs> uh, Lion King live action isn't overwhelming anybody. Of course, it's not live because you can't domesticate lions and tigers and bears and all that. I don't know. <laughs> so they have to make them all CG. Yeah, that hasn't seemed to be going over very well with anybody. Uh, Dumbo was a total flop. And... Uh, see Captain Marvel was number one at the box office again this weekend but it's not looking good <laughs> yeah, he might hit 400 million worldwide when his run is over 
That wouldn't be bad. I mean, they made the movie for less than $100 million, so... Now, of course, the actress who played Mary, uh, Mary Marvel or whatever, uh, she signed a five-picture deal, so they're planning a lot of sequels for this thing. So, hopefully, we'll see how that goes. And let's see, what else? There's got to be some more to talk about. <laughs> I guess I can show you that. That's the IHOP. That's where I spend my nights. That's the Hampton. That's the dumpster. <laughs> That's the Fry's supermarket. Oh, and yeah, by the way, I'm a 40 something year old white man, and Brie Larson doesn't like me. I don't think I like her either. I guess that's a good place to end this. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about Brie Larson. Or what you think about the Dark Phoenix or the Hobbs and Shaw trailer. And uh, hit the subscribe button, please. Uh, thanks. And laters.